Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Friday, May 15th, and I'm going to do it on Slash CS, which is the S&P 500 and the other indices that you can find on Nadex. And before I get into this trade plan, I have said this every single Thursday night for the last six plus years. You need to understand that Friday is an extremely, extremely mental and psychological trading day. And what I mean by that is that if you do something stupid on a Friday, you trade too big, you trade too long, you get greedy, you don't stick to your plan, you revenge trade and you lose stupid money, you then have two days to think and sulk over your losses. And if you've been doing this for any amount of time, you know that this game is 70 to 80% mental and you can't do that to yourself. And so Friday for me, and it should be for everyone else, it's a light day. The good news though, is that I actually, there is actually some really good structure. So I'm still gonna, I'm gonna go through this really quick because I still see opportunity. Uh, but typically on a Friday, my favorite quote is, when in doubt, stay the hell out. And so first thing, start here on slash GS. You can look at the bird's eye view. We got oversold. This market actually in the London session got oversold, came into this demand pocket. Bulls saw, bulls saw value and they surged pretty much the whole day, right? And pretty simple, just a cycle back up to the upside. And what it did basically is just cycled right back into this two week range, which is a good thing. And so we're back to equilibrium. And so we're going to have pretty much deviation days. You got, uh, you got three layers of where you can look for change control. Uh, one thing I can show you to the downside just quickly, and nothing's 100%, but more times than not, when price finishes this far away from the value area box, it'll want to fade back. And so I wouldn't sell just yet. I'd probably, if you, if you want to, you can wait for just a little bit of, um, strength first and and the reason i definitely wouldn't sell just yet is because there is still plenty of momentum to the upside uh but if i don't think i'm going to go for this but i always show all of the opportunities take what you like drop what you don't and so there's the potential for drip value rate drift back if i were to buy this chart i'd want to be pulling back into here and if the market tanks below 2760 tomorrow i'm just going to let it go on a friday and let it have it let the bears have their day Slash and Q is very similar. It has an even larger value rate drift back opportunity, but it has pretty much two layers to the upside and then one. And then the good thing about in Q, I say one, I just mean the first layer here for demand. But the good thing about in Q is it has structure on the negative one and a half and or the negative two if it breaks that negative one. YM is almost identical to ES, so not much new there. And then RTY, um, Probably my least favorite, but it still ha it has no value or a drift back. I probably won't do anything to the upside, but to the downside, I'm actually, it's this isn't terrible. Looking for buy triggers at the negative 0.5, the, the negative about that is that it's in the middle of value. Okay, and so, and uh, so if you're going to do anything there, be sure you're scalping. If I were to buy this chart, my favorite, obviously, it's slap you in the face. Big round number, 1,200, negative one, value rate low, pockets of demand, and then you got the negative one and a half right there. So this one's probably my least favorite chart, but there's still opportunity. And so don't forget, we also have deviations on the three major Forex pairs. We have deviations in value area on gold futures, and typically we have deviations in value area on crude oil futures as well, but it is rolling over. And so I'm not going to do deviations or value area on crude. It'll be back to normal Sunday night. So uh, message me or Ryan Smith. If you have any questions, make sure you're taking pictures of all of your trades. Use the four-step trading process. Post the birds I view, the worms I view, and the trade stamp. Post it in the Trader Tribe so that you can get feedback from me and from others.